guys and welcome to today's video. I thought today I would share with you some products I've recently got in. I actually think that all the products I'm going to show you are new. I think all of them are launches or reformulas or something like that. But let's get started. So a couple of weeks ago I saw the launch of Makeup Forever in the UK. It's exclusive to Debnam. In the rest of the world you can get it in Sephora but sadly in the UK we don't have a Sephora so we couldn't get it until recently. Well, we could, but it was pretty hard to get hold of. You'd have to order online or go to Pam, which is a store in West London. But, so excited! We can finally get Makeup Forever in the UK. I haven't tried that many Makeup Forever products, if I'm honest. Their mascara is incredible but I haven't used it in years and their HD foundation is still one of my favourite and I use it all the time but I've got a few new products I haven't tried anything yet but I have their Aqua Rouge which is part of the Aqua line so it's supposed to be waterproof and this looks like this colour it's double ended which I actually don't typically like um, I'm suspecting it might be a little bit drying but I'm definitely going to give that a go I have an eyeliner but I've already used that today, it's a, just a simple plain black one. This looks beautiful, once again aqua eyeliner, waterproof. This is in like um, a blue I would say. Ugh, look how dreamy that is. So pigmented and so just beautiful really. Such a stunning colour. I think I might pick up one of these in black because I'm really struggling with my liner at the moment. Then we've got Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant. I've used the normal Smoky Lash, so I'm interested to see what this one is like. And then I also have an Aqua Lip Liner. I'm gonna open this. This is a really beautiful color. Probably more for the winter than for the summer, but um, once again, I'm interested to try this. Then quickly touching on body products. I haven't actually used this, but this is from the Body Shop, and they have a new mojito range, and it smells like mojitos. I don't know how I feel about it. It's basically like a, a citrusy, minty scent. Like the lime and mint you get in a mojito. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit. To my arms. Now, I like the idea of these. They're, um, the scent is really nice. And I love their body butters. They're excellent. My only slight concern is I'm not terribly sure I want to smell like a cocktail or even a mocktail because this is called Virgin Mojito. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure. I like the idea of it. It smells incredible. Not sure it's for me, but check it out if you want to smell like a mojito. Then Laura Mercier have reformulated their Silk Creme Oil Free... Um, photo edition foundation. I actually got sent this and I got sent the oil free. They also have a moisturizing version which is much more catered to my skin type I think. So I think I'm going to purchase that one and I'll let you know how I get on. But I do actually really really like this. I've tried the moisturizing one and it's beautiful. I really really like it. Um, but if you are a Laura Mercier fan or you're looking for a new foundation and you tried this but you didn't love it months or years ago then give this one another go because they have reformulated it. Um, um, but I actually really like this. It's a little bit drying for my skin because I have got very dehydrated skin but I think the moisturising version will probably work a little bit better for me. A few things to touch on from Barry M, they released their quick dry polishes a while ago now, a couple of months, but now they've released a few more of their speedy polishes. I think there's a few more colours, I think there's two more colours that I'm missing, but um, I'll put the link below to my blog post where they have swatches as well. These three here are actually shimmery which I don't like. But the other three are kind of more cream, non-shimmery polishes and they've got some really beautiful colours. I love these. They dry so quickly and that's exactly what I want from my nail polish. If you're not a big fan of pastels and that's why I didn't like the first take, then these are a little bit brighter and not as pastel -y, so definitely worth looking into. Then Barry M have also released their Flawless Light Reflecting Concealer. There is three shades and I only have two to show you, but I've got number one and number three and there's not a huge difference and number two is somewhere in between that so once you've seen these you've basically seen the other one too even though i do have tan on i'm not that dark and these are very very pale 
if you are very fair and you're looking for concealer, I really like these. I thought they were going to be rubbish. They're really light in consistency. So they work beautiful under the eyes as long as you're not trying to cover up too much or as long as you use something underneath. But as you can see, that is a lot darker than I am. And I'm probably today about an NWNC 30, I would say, potentially 35. Um, but it's a shame really because I do actually really like it as a concealer. Probably one of my favourite under eye concealers from the drugstore that I've tried in a while. If you're familiar with Benefit's professional range you'll know that they've got a primer and a setting powder too. Now they're releasing their license to blot instant oil blotting stick. Now I haven't tried this yet but I have tried the other two products and I do really like them. This one looks like this. It's a little triangular stick, which you can roll up, which I really like. You can either wear this over, under, or without makeup. Admittedly, I find these a little bit scary. So they're basically almost like a powder in that you they make you less shiny. So you could put this on top. It says in, sm in short, light strokes. But over my makeup, I would personally be a little bit scared. I like the idea but it's gonna take me a while to kind of try it and kind of get the courage to potentially ruin my makeup. I'm a bit nervous that it might move what I have on underneath. But at some point, I think I will get around to trying it. I'm probably gonna wait to see what everyone else says and once they've tried it and they found the best technique, I'll give it a go. New from Leighton Denny is the Top That Revolutionary Gel System. I haven't tried this, heard amazing things about it, so it will, it will be on my blog quite soon. It Basically is a top coat, a gel top coat that can go over any nail polish and you just cure that which sounds amazing because you can use any colour and any nail polish that you have and own and then that will last two weeks. I also find that it won't, it's not quite as thick um, because gel polish tends to be a little bit thicker and that's great as well but I haven't had a chance to try it so when I do I would definitely let you know what I think of it. I think it's fairly expensive but not ridiculous or anything like that. It's probably about the price of three or four visits to get a gel manicure in a salon. From Clinique is a new little Cheek Pop colours. I love Cheek Pop um, blushes. They are excellent and these are super cute. I haven't had a chance to try them. They are a lot lighter in colour, I think. But I'm expecting them to be just as beautiful. I have Pink Pop and Melon Pop as well, which Actually, I think goes along with their lipsticks, which is quite a nice idea. I'm not too sure how many they're launching, but I'm sure I'll talk about these soon on the blog. Finally, and I say this every time, I am awful at describing scents, but I have a new perfume from Jo Malone, and it's my favourite Cologne Intense, which is their intense version of perfumes. They're quite expensive, they look very premium, and I find that they are generally quite premium in quality and the smell, all those sort of things. Um, this one is called Incense and Cedrit. Cedrit, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm sure that's a really basic word that everyone else can pronounce, but I'm not 100% sure. Do let me know if one of those two is right. Um, I love this so much. If you don't already know, Jo Malone scents are all unisex, and I think this is quite a masculine scent. It's quite incensey, quite musky, so it's pretty sexy, I think. Quite Middle Eastern as well, I find. Um, I really, really like this. I'm so tempted to give it to my boyfriend, but I want to wear it, and therefore I probably won't give it to him. I think it would smell lovely on him, and I think it smells quite nice on me too. Um, definitely worth looking into if you're looking for quite a masculine, very sexy evening scent. Um, once again, quite pricey, but definitely worth the money. And that's the end of my new in products. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want any more in-depth reviews of any of the products that I've spoken about today. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And also, I have been doing these sort of videos on Periscope, so if you're on Periscope or even Snapchat, I'll leave the link to that below. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.